Yo, beast mode, I go beast mode Left, right, hook, then I reload Speed until the E breathe slow Connect every uppercut, clean blow Right, so it's Chris Rodden's here, Southport Jab, Team Southport Jab member, reigning WBC silver middleweight champion and shortlisted Scottish Sportswoman of the Year. Yeah, no, I'm really proud of that actually. It's a great bit of news that has come through. So, uh, voting opens uh, Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, yeah, so everybody get involved and uh, yeah, vote for me, it'd be amazing. Yeah, I'm so really you're, proud. You're down at your call. Um, People would think you're down here to support Lee McGregor, your fellow Scott, but... Of course I am. I'd obviously support Lee McGregor and like all like Scotch together, 100%. But um, definitely down here to support Chantal Cameron, obviously fellow female boxer in the UK. She just sparring did a, partner. Sparring partner, yeah. yeah. Uh, she just did an amazing fight, 10 rounder out there with a quite a crazy Mexican. So yeah, no, she's, yeah, she, yeah, smashed it. And she's now the, also the WBC yes. silver yes. champ. So yes. there's two of us now, which is yeah. great. They're really, really good. Good. So uh, you didn't bring the belt just to show it off, which is nice anyway, just to see it. But um, you had to loan it to her as well. Oh yeah, no, I brought it down to help out tonight. It's difficult to get uh, get the belts over here from Mexico in time, especially for a last minute fight. So I lent it to Sham for the for the night, and hers arrives on Monday, which is is great. So we'll get a photo together, the two of us, <laughs> both champs together. Right, cool. So we'll forget about everyone here. Yep. Let's talk about you. Um, you're jetting off on Monday yeah. uh, for some quality sparring. Tell us about that. Yeah, no, I'm off to Poland to spar with Eva Bronecker. Uh, she's got a big fight coming up on the 26th of October. Uh, so, yeah, she got in touch with me today and said, oh, would I be interested in coming out for sparring? And I think my uh, good pal, Michaela Lauren, is already out there. So, um, yeah, no, it'll be good to go out and get some sparring with her. She's a, a great champion to work with. So, uh, yeah, no, it's going to be good. And good sparring for me, as always, in, in the prep for my upcoming fight. So, yeah. So in, in prep for your upcoming fight, which is here. Yeah, uh, your, your call. Your yes. <laughs> um, You're fighting a top 15 ranked contender. Yep, Lisa Garland. That's it, Lisa yeah. Garland. Um, do you know much about her? Uh, she's American. She's coming over here from the States. Um, and, yeah, no, she's ranked 15 by WBC. So it's going to be a good fight for me. And I'm looking forward to it. She's been in there with some of the, the big champions already. So it's a good fight for me to have. And I'm looking forward to putting on a show in York Hall. So, yeah, my home. It'd be nice. <laughs> Yeah, so um, not looking past Lisa, um, yep. what kind of fights are you looking for? Because obviously you, you had your unsuccessful challenge for a super middleweight world title. <laughs> yeah. um, that was for the WBA super middleweight title in New York. Um, yeah, no, that's a bit of a weight class too much for me, I think, after the super middle. But uh, obviously the opportunity was there and I was going to take that. It's a world title shot, you're going to be crazy not to take that. Um, but for me, you know, I, I'm looking at targeting the 154 uh, WBC super welterweight title. Um, that's obviously my main goal, that's uh, Eva Petrovska out there, so the £154, that's the one I'm going for. Um, obviously there's loads of fights out there and I'm never one to turn down a fight, ever. You know, uh, you know me, I'm up for everything. Um, yeah, obviously the main money, the big big fight out there for, for women is uh, Carissa Shields, so if that fight were to happen or to be offered to me, I'd be definitely up for taking it. It'd be a great opportunity for me to go over to the States and fight again, so yeah, why not? Let's give it a go, it'd be great. So Carissa Shields, would that be a middleweight? Or she's all often talked about coming down to Super Welter as well. Would you want her to come down to Super Welter for that? Oh, well, she's got the belts uh, uh, middle, so that's what it probably the fight would be at, you know? But if she wants to come down to Super Welter, I'd be happy for that as well. You know, that's my, my original weight, and I love being there, but middleweight's just fine for me as well. Okay, so um, your fight is on the 3rd of November. Yes, 3rd of November. Um, are you... You're deep into camp now. Yep. Um, are you looking forward to actually fighting back in the UK? Because obviously you're in the States. And, yeah, um, to be honest, I think a lot of people are happy I'm back here because I think New York was a bit of a push for them to get over there. Um, a lot of people are happy I've been in London for a fight. Um, and it's, you know, you can't knock the boxing crowds in the UK. People are like, the audience is here. They just love boxing, you know, they're all into it. And you always have a good uh, good audience for when you're out there. So yeah, looking forward to it a lot, a lot actually. That's good, so um, we'll be back here, like we said. Um, this is a bit like a home venue for you, for your call. You, you, you've had a few, you've, you've jet set it. You've been around the world and yeah. you've fought, fought in a couple of countries. Yeah, um, I have, yeah. You fought at home in Scotland, but is this, does this feel like the home venue for you? Yeah, and especially because when I first, first ever boxed white collar, my very first white collar fight was here. So, you know, for me, it's like the ground that I know best and 
it's also such an amazing venue because wh wherever you come in for the fight, like you can come watch anyone from any angle, you can see everything, and you feel like you're really involved. And as a boxer, that all sort of atmosphere is amazing to play off. You know, so it feels like my home, my home sort of venue. I love boxing at home in Scotland, obviously, because the crowds there are great too. But you know, for me, when I'm living in London, this is this is home. You know, this is the home of boxing in London, basically for me. Oh, wicked. Well, um, can't think of anything else to ask you. Um, <laughs> So enjoy your sparring. I will do. And um, we'll catch up with you again, hopefully, before the fight. Yep. And um, if not, we'll see you on the night because we'll be here. So yeah. um, before we Great. go, is there anyone you want to thank? Uh, obviously, you can thank my coach, Noel Callan, for putting up with me day in, day out, um, getting me to this level. That's uh, definitely a skill, I think. Um, and also, shout out to my manager, my new manager, Sam Kinnock. Uh, that's, that's going really well, and I'm really happy to be working with him and be connected at home in Scotland. Uh, massive thank you to all the people that sponsor me. Got a few off the top of my head uh, Science and Sport, Secret Slots, uh, David Marshall London, um, oh, loads of people. Jab Apparel, they just come on to support all my kit wear for all my fighting and my training. So that's also amazing. So without you guys, I couldn't do it. So huge thank you. Huge, huge thank you. So yeah. Uh, wicked. Well, thanks for your time, Hannah. I know we've missed half of Lee McGregor's fight. So yeah. I'll let you get back to that of and course. we'll talk to you soon. Yeah, thanks very much. Cheers. Yo, beast mode, I go beast mode Left, right, hook, then I reload Speed until the E3 slow Connect every uppercut, clean blow